Gary Simon from HowToDesignYour.com and in this free video tutorial we're going to take a good look at the pen tool and everything about it. So one of the ways we're going to learn it is by vector tracing over uh, an object and in, for this tutorial it's going to be a pepper and we're going to try to do everything we can to match the reference image which is an actual photograph of a pepper as much as possible and the uh, most important tool that will help us do that is the pen tool so let's go to file new I'm just gonna start with 750 by 600 and you can use whatever you want really it, it really doesn't matter um, if you're on a, a larger resolution uh, you can use a bigger area here so All right, so right now you should have uh, the reference image, which is a pepper. I'm going to paste it right in here real quick. And that's a little bit too big, so I'm going to hold CTRL-T, hold Shift, and scale it down. And then apply. Okay. All right, so... I chose the pepper because uh, it has clear, distinct lines, and uh, it's easy. It's easy to do because there's not a ton of uh, detail in it, but enough to where it'll give anybody who's beginning with the pen tool a good idea. So, our first step will be to choose this color. So, choose the foreground here, and then the eyedropper tool automatically appears, and we'll just choose this. Uh, orange shade hit OK and then we're gonna choose the zoom tool left click drag and just get a good uh, up close view of it so we're gonna take the pen tool and we're gonna actually just outline this entire thing only the yellow part so left click the next point will be to left click and drag Alright, so here's another thing. If you can, I'm not sure if you can see too well here in the actual uh, preview here, but there's a, it goes out just a tad bit right here. Now, if I were to try to do that, it would be kind of hard because this uh, angle right here is forcing it up. So I'm going to hold CTRL-Z, and one way you can fix that is by holding ALT, left-clicking on the middle vertice that you just created, and that way you can either elimin eliminate any uh, pool on the next vertice or put it wherever else you want it to affect the next vertice. So I'm just going to put it right here. And you will see me do this a lot. See like right here for instance, since it's a sharp angle, if I were to go over here, it wouldn't look right. So I'm just going to hold ALT and click once. We're not even worrying about the uh, green part right now. We'll add that in after. All right, there we go. Now that's just the uh, basic shape. Pretty easy. Um, not much of a big deal. So right now I'm just going to hide that layer. Now we're going to do the outline for the actual green part. Now let's take the eyedropper tool. Just uh, choose any type of green in here. Let's go back to the pen tool and do the same exact thing. And it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. It's all up to you. And it can get tedious depending on what you're trying to trace, but... That's what it takes. All right, 
Now let's hide that again. And now we have basically our two main elements here. We have this and we have the stem. Okay. Now anything else with this particular object is going to be um, shading. And as you can see, we have a lot of different reflections. So I'm going to take the eyedropper tool and choose that those uh, the color of those reflections, and we're going to start with those. So let's go ahead and take the pen tool again, and we can zoom up a little bit more here. Go back to the pen tool, and let's just start going over each one of these reflections here. There's one right here, and oops, CTRL Z. Basically, you just want to connect them all up so they're a single object. Some over here. As you can see, I'm going very fast. And once you become more familiar familiar with it yourself, you'll be able to do the same thing. It's no big deal. There's just a few over here. There's some down here. Some faint ones over here. And we'll work with the color of these things individually because it's obvious that this particular one is uh, a lot less bright than this other ones up top. And we'll line one down here. Oops, that was an accident. Maybe one right here. All right, that looks pretty good so far. And now let's do the same exact thing again for the stem. So let's take a, uh, th th and there's only a few that we'll do here. There's a darker region in the middle. still chose that. Now sometimes you run into the to this issue. Uh, if Whenever you're uh, trying to come back around an area and it's hiding um, the part that you're actually trying to trace, all you have to do is just go over here to opacity and just put it to zero. And that way you can see what's going on beneath. You can take that back to 100. And that color is wrong. We'll just choose with these colors. Then we also have uh, a few lighter parts of the stem. Maybe one going over here. And then we should have some, uh, actually a lot of different shaded areas on this part of the stem, the base of it. We could just do these real quick. All right. And really, it's just it just looks like a big scrambled mess, and and I'm not too worried about everything over here. There's some darker areas we definitely want to get to, though. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right. I think that takes care of a lot of the, the actual uh, pen work, and I see this is 